Thomas Gilman in the red, it was all fixed. And Matt, num match number one, super physical bout. Gilman's got to find a way in. This is the way every match starts. Warnings for hands in the face from one of them. This time it's from Dayton. And for Gilman, he's got to control the ties better. He's got to get to his underhook. He wasn't there much. If he can control center better, get to his hook, he can force match three. But Dayton Fix looked as prepared as I'd seen him. Offense, defense, top. And we got some slapping going on. And there we go, one red. Man, that was... They just slapped him across the face. Okay. They're slapping, don't get me wrong, they're both slapping each other. It was a hard club that just kind of ends up like a slap. It's okay to, to like slap the back of the head, not okay to slap the face. If that makes sense. It makes sense. I just missed it. So 1-0, -oh, there's that hard right club. Yeah, a bunch of them back and forth. Takes yeah, quick to the leg and fires. <laughs> the Oklahoma crowd co corner. They want one of their own. Back, yeah. Dayton Fix was the top seed at NCAAs, fell in the finals. But man, just competes all over the place. Always brings it. Definitely a, um, more credential than freestyle, but amazing folk style as well for Oklahoma State. And they're gonna break it halfway through the first. See the corners there. And no real points on the board yet, no leg attacks here. And this kind of a match, is this kind of ugly one, that's gonna favor Gilman. Indicating blue was the official. Gilman still uh, unable to get to his hook. And there's a shot, but right there you see Dayton looking to generate some offense of his own. But Gilman gonna be smart here and just hang, just go flat as a board. No, I can't, I'm not gonna give up points here as long as I stay right here. And Dayton wrestling through this position, as we said in match number one. He's fine. Gilman gets to his legs, he attacks Gilman's. And you're gonna get a stalemate. 55 seconds to go here in the first period, one nothing. Thomas Gilman with the lead. And passivity against uh, Fix. Not on the clock, but the first warning. And Gilman, not warned yet, was he? No, I don't believe so. And Fix shot. takes a shot, stopped by Gilman, kind of recovers. Gilman with an under good recovery by Fix. And that inside trip is one of Dayton's best positions in here with that underhook. Double and unders and shoving. Bomey snaps and releases, maybe trying to get to a leg or a goal behind. It's not there. Good recovery there from Dayton to be in double unders and not get moved around. So solid first period for Fix, but it's Gilman with the lead. 1-0 off the hands to the face penalty. Caution in one. All right, we got some wrestling. Wrestling to do. A lot fewer leg attacks there in that match. As you see, Mark Perry and Tom Brands in the corner for Gilman. World silver, silver medalist in 2017, fifth a year ago. Four-time Nebraska State champion for Omaha Scott Catholic. Though an Iowa native all the way. Yep. He is from Iowa. Three minutes to go in this one. Gilman looking to force match number three. It'll be our second match three of the night. Graf and Cologne gonna do it once again. And remember, Gilman uh, has already earned a warning against Fix, for, so one more and he'll go on the shot clock, but early indication was towards Gilman for passivity from the mad official. But really, it's pretty even right now. It's tough to pick one. And there's a single leg. Thomas Gilman's in deep. Oh, look, look at this. Fix is going to score. Unbelievable. What defense. The defense you spoke of. And now he gets to his gut. He's up on top. There's a leg and has a leg on the right. He sets up that trap arm when he throws that boot in. But he hasn't been able to get to that against Thomas Gilman. So 2 1 off the counter. Crazy leg there by Dayton Fix. Now he's going to fire for attack. He wants more. But now as he feeding right into the reattack game of Gilman, he 
holds on that elbow is going to prevent Gilman from circling around, at least for the time being. 2.07 to go. It's a 2-1 lead for Dayton Fix. Good position here for Gilman now as he's circling hard. Can he get to the leg? He's close. Circle, circle, circle. He's Not there yet. Now oh. he's in. Two is lock. But once again, Dayton going on the attack. Nothing yet. He was he, all the way to the corner. I really thought Gilman was going to score this position. Oh, and he gets himself back into position here to score again. Head underneath, coming out the back door. Dayton over the top. Almost draped to the side, catching ankles, and he's got a hold got of the far ankles. ankle, but between the legs. Could Gilman expose here is my, my question here, and he's circling in hard. Wow, that knee. Close to two, nothing yet. White paddled by the judge, nothing. Dayton hangs onto that foot. Oh, he broke the leg. He broke the lock, excuse me. That's not two, though. Nothing yet. He's got to pass all the way behind. That's not two. Nothing yet. He's got to get that How long arm off of his leg. Go. He's continuing to improve. There it is, too. Whoa, take down Gilman. He goes into the lead with just over a minute to go. Boy, he had to work ho so hard for that finish. 3-2. He's into the lead. Fires off that single leg, and he knows he's going into dicey territory. Every time he changes his level and gets to that leg, but there's only one way to come back, and that's offense for Thomas Gilman. And he's up one, 55 seconds to go. One point for Fix will put him in the lead by criteria, 3-3. Three, three. So he doesn't have to get a takedown, just the one. And it was Gilman with the late lead at the US Open Finals, and it was a post leg attack from Fix, and he finished around the body, body lock finish for the match deciding takedown. 33 seconds to go, still a lot of time, but if you're Dayton Fix, what's your game plan here? Are you thinking another leg attack? You try to get an easy step out. 20 seconds to go, or we'll have a match three between Gilman and Fix. You gotta figure with at least one more committed attack coming from Fix. Gilman keeping great position. There's one, takes it to the, edge. to the edge. He's close, in the zone. Seven seconds to go, he's driving with all his might as Dayton Good Fix. Good job readjusting his position, and that's gonna get him into match number three. Thomas Gilman is going to win this 3-2. Mark Perry says he's done. Find out. Pointing at Dayton Fix. Crazy match.